for our final quick fire round. Drunk fucking question! <laughs> Team uh, Precious, that's me. What's the strangest place you've been naked? <laughs> what's the strangest place you've been naked? You guys, that, this one's yours. <laughs> no, Christina, it certainly is. <laughs> what is the strangest place you've been naked? Well, I guess the altar of my Episcopalian church, because <laughs> I, I, well, it's true, but, you know, no, I, um, I, I did liturgy dancing for a couple of years, and I was developing faster than the rest of the girls, and I had to wear a white leotard, and I had pubic hair hanging out. It was, it was terrible, and I mean, it was embarrassing, and I, Palm Sunday, I used <laughs> to hide my, my little budding breasts and my pubic hair, and, and I didn't do the rest of the dance because I just wanted to hide what was coming to me. And I've come. <laughs> my bad. The answer is correct. You get a point. And All right. drink it. Anyway. How, why, why were you going to pass to the guys? How could you possibly not? Because, I, I, you know, well, I think. I Michael's been naked everywhere. Yeah. Michael has been naked everywhere. I have literally been naked everywhere. I have been naked at the gets, Michael gets naked at every wedding. When everyone gets married, they have to request, they have to have yeah. a conversation with him and say, please, they do have not to. Do and this. then every wedding, the bride gets drunk and says, when are you going to get naked? And then what happened at the last wedding, Liam and Alana, is they said, a skinny man isn't funny anymore. He used to be fat. True. He used to be a big just, fat cook, and it was yeah, funny. Take, I just so imagine, funny. I just imagine why you did it. It was hilarious. I just imagine a lot of loose skin now. <laughs> and you still can't see his dick. <laughs>